Paul Puri. Join me as I search for great coffee in the finest cafes in the world. Welcome to a region that contains some of the richest postcodes in Italy. An area that produces more wine than any other and is equally famous for its food and comfortable way of life. The picturesque Veneto region in the country's north includes some of the most interesting cities in Italy, including Venice, known for its canals and gondolas, and Treviso, for its ancient walls and famous emporiums. Veneto is filled with Renaissance palaces and historical treasures. Life here is elegant and charmed. But even more important than all of that, Treviso is home to one of the most influential coffee families in the world today. Now I'm here to meet this family and visit some of the region's truly great cafes. Treviso is located only 30 minutes from Venice, where the Italian coffee story began with the arrival of the first beans from the Ottoman Empire. These beans would eventually make their way across the country by inland canals, and the Italian coffee obsession had begun. There's no better example than the spread of coffee culture from Venice to its neighbour Treviso. The region of Veneto soon developed into a home for wealthy traders and businessmen. This trend continues today, with many leading fashion and design companies based here. Treviso, like every Italian town, has great shops and cafes. There's nothing better than just wandering around these places searching for the finest coffee experiences. One cafe that was consistently recommended by locals was Gopion located along the main shopping trail. This family business was started in 1858 and at one stage there were seven brothers all involved in the production of coffee. Five generations later, this busy cafe in Treviso is only a small part of the selecting, roasting, blending and retailing of the family's unique Gopion coffee. People come here to, in order to uh, have, uh, mm, have breakfast and uh, drink uh, coffee, drink uh, cappuccino with milk. Uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, whipped cream in order to put uh, into, the, into the top of the coffees. Despite its small size, Gopion sees plenty of business each day. Locals wander in and take a quick cup, catching up on all the daily gossip. This is Italian coffee culture at its best, fast and furious. There's lots to see and explore in Treviso, with no shortage of historical buildings, monuments and boutiques. The town boasts plenty of fashion stores. In fact, Benetton and Diodora have their head offices right here in Treviso, a unique mix of old and new. My primary reason for visiting Treviso is to see the DeLonghi factory. This innovative company sell millions of coffee machines around the globe each year. The company started with me in the year 64. Four. End of 64. I used to make for the first 10 years uh, components for other factories. We don't use the only brand at that time in the year 74 after the the first oil crisis we invented the the, the oil fear radiators and i start with the oil fear radiator that uh, was a good uh, product at the time we become number one in the world giuseppe de longhi was born and raised in treviso and his determination and drive built a highly successful global empire that still operates from this small town. I think uh, uh, Treviso is a good area to, to improve the product. Uh, and uh, you have a good engineer, you have good sales people. I think uh, I chose this area. I don't, I don't see the Longhi in a different place than 
Treviso. Nowadays, DeLonghi is the umbrella brand for over 28 international companies and they've been manufacturing various high quality products in the region for decades. I've been offered the chance to go behind the scenes into the secret labs at DeLonghi's state-of-the-art factory to see just how these machines are conceived and built. Rigorous steps are taken to ensure each part of their machine is the best design it can possibly be. So this isn't the real thing, this is like your prototype? Yes, but uh, this is, this will be uh, this is very similar to the, the final product, to the real product that will be made not in nylon like this prototype, but uh, in, uh, in plastic. The first uh, machine uh, is produced for Australia yes. because it's a very important market for us for the built-in appliances. So this has been developed so that anybody can just put this into anywhere. Yeah, anymore. it's a standard measure, so uh, you can easily fit your machine in your kitchen. Okay. Okay. And what it plug that in? Yeah, uh, first of all, you have to choose your beverage because you have to move the lever ah, on the yes, lid. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 so yes. if you are making a cappuccino, you move the lever in this position, uh -huh. a latte yes. in the middle, yes. and a flat white in this position. Fantastic. So what do you think? Are we having a latte? Uh, I, in where I come from. Latte is the Italian word for milk, and the Italians only drink their coffee with milk in the morning. This made Giacomo Boran's job all that much trickier. He is the head of DeLonghi's design department and was handed the challenge of creating a milk foaming and dispensing mechanism for regions outside of Italy where milk in coffee is more popular. Per questo abbiamo inventato noi in DeLonghi questo sistema che è un sistema brevettato da noi. So this is the solution that they came up with. It's been patented. It's a, it's a DeLonghi patent, which uh, provides electronically commanded dosing of the, the correct quantity of coffee, the correct quantity of milk, uh, in order to make a good, good cappuccino. It's cost a lot of work and a lot of attention, and it's a very good job.